Hello kids. Today we shall learn about our home, earth and the sky surrounding it. Let's talk about the beautiful sky. When you look at the sky in the daytime, what do you see there? We see a round, hot, huge ball of fire which is very far away from us. We all know it as the sun. What do we get from the sun? The sun gives us heat and light. If you get up early in the morning, you can see the sun rising from the east. And our day begins with the sunrise. We play, work and study during the daytime. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. After the sunset begins the night when we sleep. Look at the sky once more and you will find out what is there in the night. Now we can see the moon. The moon looks very beautiful. It gives us light at the night. But the moon is much smaller than the sun and not so hot and bright as the sun. And we should not forget the millions of twinkling objects we see in the sky at night. Yes, these are stars. Can we count them? No, it is not possible to count them. They look very small because they are very far away from us. Have you ever wondered where the moon and the stars hide during the daytime? We see in the morning the sun rises from the east and evening we find it in the west before it completely disappears from our sight. Does this mean that the sun actually goes and hides somewhere? As shown in the story, even though it is hard to believe, but the fact is, it is not the sun that moves across the sky each day. It is the earth that keeps on moving like a spinning top. In the story, the demon was holding the earth and stopped it from spinning. So what was its effect? On one side of the earth, the Indian farmer got up from the bed as it was morning but the day didn't begin as it was still dark and there was no sunlight. On the other side, the American mother asked the kids to go to the bed to sleep in the night. But the kids were not ready as the sun continued to shine in the sky and it didn't feel like night time. So how did the things come back to normal again in the story? In the story, the fairies along with the moon fought against the demon and defeated the demon. The earth was finally freed from the demon and the earth started rotating on its own. Things came back to normal again. As the earth turned around and started to spin, the part which faced sunlight slowly got into darkness. Like in the story, the American mother was happy that finally it was dark. Meanwhile, the opposite side of earth, that is the Indian village, which was in complete darkness, slowly started getting more and more sunlight, marking the beginning of day. Hence, the Indian farmer quickly started his day work. This spinning movement of earth is called rotation. Now I am sure you must be wondering what it has to do with day and night, correct? So let us look at this video to understand why there is day and night. You see a bright yellow ball that is sun on the left and a small blue ball that is earth on the right. Let's zoom in to see further to see the earth closely. What do we see? Firstly, the half part of the earth is lighted and the other half is dark. The left half is lighted and it is having day. The right half is dark and it's having night. This is because the left half is facing the sun and hence it is getting light. So day is there. The right half which is opposite side is not getting sunlight and so it is night there. We also see that 
the earth is moving around itself like a top because of this spinning when one half say side a is having morning at the same time the opposite half say side b is having night but because the earth is moving after some time the side a goes other side to gets its night and the side b comes facing sun so it has day and this is how we get day and night and the cycle continues you know to complete a rotation the earth takes 24 hours tell me how many hours are there in a day yes it's 24 hours so we see it's the rotation of earth that causes day and night this is exactly what happened in the story on one side of the earth the indian farmer was sleeping through the night meanwhile on the other side the american kids were playing during the day time slowly it became day in india while it became night in america other than rotation the earth also has another movement as we saw in the story not only the earth rotates but it also moves around the sun in a fixed path this fixed path on which earth moves around the sun is called orbit and this movement of earth is called revolution of the earth that is earth is revolving around the sun now let's talk about the moon have you noticed the moon doesn't look the same every day sometimes it looks round sometimes it's like a half round sometimes only a thin line and sometimes it completely disappears from the sky so how does the moon shine so brightly as we saw in the story the moon does not have its own light we see it because of the sunlight falling on it it means moon shines by the light of the sun we can see only that part of the moon which gets the sunlight does the moon stay at one place only no as we saw in the story like earth the moon also keeps spinning like a top one more thing about the moon is just like the earth moves around the sun the moon moves around the earth what part does the moon take to move around the earth the moon travels around the earth in a circular path this is called its orbit the moon looks very beautiful from the earth but you know if we watch it very closely the surface of moon is not smooth in fact the moon has many mountains on its surface like a earth it also has pits or big holes called craters we live on earth can there be life on moon too what is important for life it is air and water you know there is no water and air on the moon so there can be no life on the moon to summarize the earth spins like a top causing day and night it also revolves around the sun which is called revolution like the earth the moon also spins and it revolves around the earth the moon does not have any light of its own the moon shines by the light of the sun so we see the sun the moon and the stars are very far away from us but they are an important part of our life they not only make our world beautiful but we cannot imagine our life without them you must be wondering the stars sun and the moon are far away from us so how can we know so much about them well we see them with the help of a telescope and who invented this telescope the telescope was invented by an italian scientist his name was galileo using this we can look at the heavenly bodies in the sky now we know a lot about the universe which i shall tell you in the next class
that is all for today bye bye kids